We've got Jasper in the car and lots and lots of metal. Twisted metal. This is my new bike. I'm kind of replacing my bamboo GTX with that. And now Soph's ready, so we're hitting the road. Okay, time to get my bike out. I can't buy all my. Oh, that doesn't look like a bike. No, but you're right, it doesn't look like bike. a bike. I think, I think well, we can bike. fix that. Mama, I think your bike can fall. Let's hit the road. All ready to go. What? It's just a little bit bigger. That bike fits you quite well actually, Soph. It's a bit too small for me, that's partly why I wanted to get an upgrade. You've been all the way around this one before, you know, Jasper. We're going to try and find a pump track for Jasper. I think there is a sort of, or a, or a mountain bike track anyway. It's somewhere on the other side of this great big lake, but I'm not 100% sure where. Okay, so ah, we'll find it. That's what Google Maps is for. I took a, I overtook everybody. You did? Well done. Why did I choose this particular e-bike? Basically, because it's got gears, which I want, especially because in the UK bikes are limited to 15 and a half miles an hour on power, which is kind of a bit slow. I want to have some gears so I can go a bit faster when I need to. Also, suspension, front and back. So it'll be a bit more comfortable and it's got 20 inch wheels, which is good because I'm not the smallest bloke you're ever going to meet. And to be honest, I found the other bike was just, it was a little bit too small. And the other thing is, this wasn't too expensive. It was a reasonable price, which is handy. The bad thing is, it is very heavy. It does fold down reasonably small, but it could definitely be smaller. But it does also have one major problem. It has a throttle, which in this country means it wouldn't actually be legal. My solution, until I can be bothered to actually remove the throttle completely, has just been to tape it up. There is a key, so, Without the key, and with the tape on there as well, it isn't gonna do anything, and I reckon that's close enough to the gray area that nobody's gonna care, or well, nobody's gonna care anyway, but I do. I, I do care about these things, because I'm an idiot. Right. You're not an idiot, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. I appreciate your input. What else? Oh, I, I had to be inventive with how I fitted the bike lock on here, because none of the screws had any chance of going through there. It's just far too thick. This is where the battery is. It's 48 volt, 8 amp power for about 400 watt hours in total almost, which is pretty good. I only reckon that'll do about 50 kilometers in total range, although I'm probably gonna do quite a large amount of pedaling with it, which means I'll probably be able to get a lot more than that. Certainly far more than I'll want to actually do in a, in a day my bottom would be aching too much. Although the seat is very comfortable, seems to be. It's been quite rough, the, the surface we've been on so far. So that's um, been a good sort of shakedown test to make sure everything's attached firmly. This is a little bit wobbly. Have to do something about that. I might tighten that now, actually. Ah, oh, thank you. Pudding. <laughs> it's got a front light. I had to add a reflector front and back because it didn't come with those, which is annoying and stupid should have done that. It is 24 kilos, so it is definitely not a sort of a light bike. I wanted something that was a bit tougher and a bit more robust and a bit more appropriate for the size of my frame. Well, I think, well, actually, there's a mountain bike track we're gonna stop at, which uh, might be a good place to test out the suspension. Somebody's coming.
this on a bike, Jack, just be careful. Well, that was extremely good fun. It is a bit of a squeeze getting all the bikes in the back. I would definitely recommend for sort of weaker people or, you know, like, I don't know, the smaller people, definitely get a lighter bike, definitely. I didn't want that. I specifically wanted something that was gonna be reasonably rough and tough because this folding bike is gotta be my mountain bike, my road bike, my London sort of get around. It's gotta be all things to all people and fit in the back of the car. And that's the reason why this one seemed like the right one. There were some other ones I found for a similar price, but the main problem with them is they didn't tend to have proper gears, which meant that it was very difficult to use them as a proper bike that wasn't electrically assisted. And I also do want to do some cycling exercise with this thing, which I can do. It's got the gears. I can go up a hill by just, you know, pedaling in a low gear and, I can go faster than the 25 kilometers an hour that you can legally do when with power assisted because I've got a gear that will enable me to get up to about 30, maybe even 35 if I don't mind my legs spinning around like crazy. Now I haven't actually put my Bamboo GTX on eBay when I ordered this bike because I couldn't bring myself to do that until I could sort of see the payoff, if you know what I mean. Now the bike's turned up the GTX is on eBay because of course that's the only way I can afford the bike. Something I had to give and I just think I'll get more use out of the bike than I did out of the GTX although I loved it and it was great fun but yeah and also it sometimes it's time for you know to just try something a bit different which is kind of what I'm doing now. I'm quite hopeful I'll be able to sort of carry it on the tube which will be tricky because the thing is quite huge. Time for me to sign off. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode of my vlog. Bye. I should put a GoPro bracket on my helmet, shouldn't I? I think that'd be awesome. Because of course, one problem with bikes is you have less free hands for holding cameras. All right, monkey, hold that for a second. Point it this way, thank you. <laughs> Mum, I'm holding the camera. Point it here. I'm holding the camera. Local mom.